besides applying formatting to the whole file at once, we can also apply formatting to the selected regions. And to do so, we just have to select certain region and then press equal sign. And as we can see, selected region was formatted. But of course, in order for this to work, we firstly have to set up default formatter in VS Code settings by using the following configuration option called default formatter. So once again, to format certain region in the code, we have to select this region and then press equal sign. Another useful keyboard shortcut allows us to go to the definition of the particular element. For example, I would like to quickly navigate to the place where this generate activity select options function is defined. To do so, I have to position my cursor above this method name and then press G D. And we have jumped to the place where it is declared. But if we're gonna put our cursor above the function name at the place where this function is declared, like in here, and press G D. In this case, we're gonna get such inline editor where we see all the places where this function is currently being used. And by the way, we can navigate through this list of references by using the motion keys to go up and down. But since I have redefined default VMotion keys to navigate up and down, in my case, I have to press K to go down and L to go up instead of J and K. And by the way, the code needed to redefine these keys will be in the repository of this playlist, link to which will be in this video description. And also to quickly move the focus from the left side of this editor to the right side and vice versa, we can press tab. Also to be able to quickly open up this inline editor with all the references of the particular element, we can position the cursor above the element and then press G, Shift, H. And we're also gonna get such editor with all the references of this element. So in here to open up folded regions, we can press either letter O or enter. And to close this editor, we just have to press escape. Another useful shortcut allows us to navigate between currently opened files. So I'm gonna open up a couple of files right here. And then to go to the next open file, I have to press GT. And to go to the previous open file, I have to press G, Shift, T. Every time I'm going to press one of these keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to navigate either forward or backward between open files. Let's keep reviewing VS Code new Vim extension in the next lesson.